So I went into Starbucks today, and it's the first day that I was able to get a Christmas drink. And I'm like, I don't want this drink to end. It's like Christmas in a cup. I love the holidays. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on a holiday set that I've seen a lot about. And this is the uh, Too Faced Carousel holiday kind of, it's not really a palette, I guess it's just a holiday set. Um, and it's an extremely unique set. I was the most excited to get my hands on this. And I just felt like it really needed a good, honest review on my channel, so that is what I'm going to be doing today. I also did my makeup today using this, except for obviously foundation and lip products that don't come in the set. So after this review, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look. So if you want to see that, I'm going to leave that to the end of the video. Now getting into this, the first thing that I should let you know is the packaging is obviously adorable. It's this really cute little carousel looking... Um, packaging and it's great to pack up for a gift for someone. It really, Too Faced does a really good job with their packaging and this one is overload cute. Um, it does open up this way and I was trying to get the pieces out this way and getting them all out all in until I realized that there's actually a little trap door at the bottom which makes it so much easier. So don't fall for the same mistake I did. Don't pull it out of this. Um, but you can just like open the little door here and you can pull this guy out. So there are six little kind of sides to this carousel and you can obviously gift the entire thing to someone or you can give individually each one of these different kind of palettes to a different person if you wanted to break this up. And either way, it'd be really cute because the packaging on the palettes themselves are also very cute. Um, it's held together by this little glitter guy, which I think is adorable. On the inside, you get a little guide on how to use the products. This would be good for someone who's brand new. Um, but yeah, then you get the six pieces. You just kind of pull them out of this thing. You can keep them all in this little uh, glitter guy or pull them out separately. So in here, you get, as I said, six different sides. I'm gonna have to move all this packaging because it's kind of getting intense. Um, so six different sides. And what you do is you get one mascara. So you get a sample size, a deluxe sample size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which everyone raves about. I am not sure it's worth the hype for this product. I don't love, love it, but it is good and it's good for someone to try because it is so hyped. It might work better for someone else than it does for me. Um, but yeah, I did use this in the tutorial today, so you'll be able to see that in a close-up on my eyes. Um, and then you get two face palettes. And the face palettes say La Belle Carousel right on the front. There is a purple one and there is a yellow one. And in each face palette, you get two uh, face products. So you get in this one, the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is my all time favorite bronzer. It's like a darker, uh, cool toned bronzer that smells like chocolate. And when you get it kind of in your mouth, which sounds weird, I'm not sitting there licking the bronzer, but when you're kind of blending it in and you know, powder kind of goes around, you can actually taste the chocolate, which is crazy. And I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a deal because I'm not a huge chocolate person, but I love it. I'm obsessed with the chocolate stuff from Too Faced. So this is awesome. Then you get Hoosier Poppy Blush, which is an orgasm-esque uh, blush color. It's kind of that peachy, corally type color. So that's in that one. And then in the yellow one, you get Sun Bunny Dark, which is like the exact opposite of Chocolate Soleil. It's like a bronze, super shimmery bronzer. I don't really know who this would work for, and I think it would work better as a eyeshadow, kind of all over the lid bronze shade, than it would as a bronzer. I don't really get this one, but it is like one of their best sellers, so I guess this works for some people. Let me know in the comments if you like the Sun Bunny Dark. But I just think it's too shimmery. But anyway, that's just me. I would use this as an eyeshadow. And then you get Luminous Peach, which again is a um, blush, but this one is much more orange toned and is really beautiful on the skin. I wore this a lot when I went away to Jamaica last week and it was stunningly beautiful. So I really, really like the face products that you get in this palette or in this set. So in addition to the face palettes and the mascara, you get three eyeshadow palettes. And you get one in mint, one in orange, and one in pink. 
And the colors on the outside kind of correspond, you'll see, to the eyeshadows that are inside. Um, the color selection um, I'm going to be showing you is beautiful. The actual payoff of the eyeshadows is a little iffy. So I'm just going to go through now and show you what the colors are and then um, as I swatch them you'll kind of see how the colors pay off and I'll tell you which ones I like and which ones I don't. So in the pink palette you get first Nutcracker which is a matte highlight shade. I don't love this, it's a little chalky but it's not awful. Then you get Nude Beach which is this gorgeous, really kind of thick and chunky which sounds odd but it's it goes on beautifully. It's like a really glittery, like chunky glittery champagne color. And I don't have anything like this. It's all over my lid today. Using a bit of Fix Plus and the Too Faced glitter glue underneath it makes this color like stand out beautiful. So I really like that. Then you get Boxes and Bows, which is also kind of like Ors Orgasm by NARS, but um, it is a little lighter in texture, but I, I swatched it beside Orgasm and they're very, very similar in tone. And then you get Sugar Plum Fairy, which is a dark plum color. The bottom three are glitters or shimmers. The top is the only matte in this one. In the green palette, you get all shimmers, so none of these are matte. You get the top one, which is Frost, which is a frosty silver color, then Tin Soldier, which is a darker silver, Christmas Tree, which is a dark green, forest green color, which I love. I haven't really figured out how to work with it yet, but I really like it. And then you get Santa's Boots, which is a, a glittery black color. And in the last palette, the orange palette, you get more of their neutrals. So the top one is Tufted Suede. This color I don't really understand. I'm pretty fair skinned and it is literally the color of my skin. So if you're very dark skinned, you might be able to use this as a highlight, but it's not really a crease color. It's matte. I don't really, I think it's kind of a waste of a color, that one. Um, but below it is Angel Hair, which is more of a gilded gold color. I don't like the way it comes off as much as I like the nude beach color. It kind of lacks the um, pigment that the other color has. Then there's Oak Chocolate, which is this gorgeous, magenta-y, reddy, brown color, and it's so beautiful. It is my second favorite to uh, Nude Beach. And then the last color down there is called Yule Log, which is just a very dark brown with gold glitter. So there's only two mattes in this entire thing, and both of them are kind of like the highlight shades. There are no shades in here that I would consider crease shades or blending shades. Um, and so if you really wanted to do like a full look that was really well blended and all of that kind of stuff, you're not gonna get the colors fully in here. Which is surprising because each has four eyeshadows. So with four eyeshadows, you should get a really beautiful highlight, a really nice matte blending shade, and then the two other shades, like one all over the lid and one in a crease. Um, but you don't quite get that with these. So I don't hate them, but I don't love them. Some of them work better than others. Again, Nude Beach is absolutely stunning, and I love Oat Chocolate, but a lot of them, if you just put them on, I don't think the color payoff is amazing, and I don't love the way they go on. It's just, it's not, they're not as good. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, so for those of you who have that and who have tried the Too Faced eyeshadows, I find those a lot easier to work with than these um, for whatever reason. So before getting these, I would go into stores, swatch them, or buy this from Sephora where you can return it after trying it because they're not bad and I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to return it, but I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to keep it either because they're not the easiest colors to work with. So that's the review on this. Again, I, it's hard to say whether it's worth the money. I spent $60 on mine. I think it was like $58 here in Canada. I know it's about $10 cheaper in the States. I'll have the exact pricing and the links to buy it on Sephora in the description bar down below and on my blog. Um, these are great for gifts for someone who likes makeup. You're giving them one little thing of this. It would be beautiful for that purpose. But I just am not, I'm not in love with this the way I thought I was going to be in love with this. So that's kind of how I'm going to leave this video. I know it's not completely one way or the other, but it's kind of my thoughts. I'm not one way or the other on this entire set. 
So now that I've reviewed the product, I'm going to go right into the tutorial. So if you'd like to see an up and close view of how these shadows work and how they look on my eyes today, then keep on watching. Talk about love like it's easy to do. Talk about fame like it's something new. Talk about flesh like it's something you wear. Talk about cash, baby, I don't care. Where the vibe is, hands in the air, close both your eyes, go like 